Hello, hello. Today we will be talking about encoders. So here is what the schematics looks like. Obviously, I have my ground connected to the Arduino, um, positive connected to the Arduino. Then I have my clock connected to pin number three and my data connected to pin number four, right? And that's pretty much it. So this is what my connection looks like. Uh, obviously, I think I will probably move this to match the schematics. So this is currently 3 and 4. So I am going to move this to 3 and 4. All right, done. So let's go ahead and see this in action okay clockwise 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 now let's do anti-clockwise or counterclockwise 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 Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Pretty cool, right? All right. So how did we do this? Um, so I am using a code uh, directly from Max Wolf. Very very simple um, code essentially declaring the variables here so let's go ahead and change this to 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 three and four so it represents our schematics let me go ahead and change it and um, the pin mode declare the pin mode um, set all this to low so this is essentially telling this variable um, that is less than 1.5 volts and also this is also less than 1.5 volts um, you will see it when we start reading it so in the loop essentially we are checking reading the digital pin and incrementing the count based on um, the clockwise direction so depending on when if we see pin A or pin B first then we know to count counterclockwise or clockwise right then over here we're displaying our reading and uh, I'm setting this to last pin level so yeah that's essentially it so and this is known as the you no know, quadrature encoder. Uh, let me show you uh, a, a, like a good, a good, a good, um, a good way to understand what uh, an encoder does. So this is on this on this website. I will link it in the description. On this website, you could see that there are some um, two important pins uh, in in a quadrature encoder. So. So let's say that we are monitoring the level of these two pins right here. As you can see, we have pin number one. Then this is a signal. The signal will either be go high or come low. High, low, high, low. So, and this is pin number two. And this is literally the signal, right? So currently, the state of both pin is low. So pin number one is low and is high here. And pin number two is low, right? So right now both pins are low. So if we want to go counterclockwise, see, we just we just rotated 
and the knob counterclockwise. As you can see, pin number two saw a high first, but mind you, pin number one is low. So typically, when this happens, the um, the encoder knows that now he, now the encoder is going counterclockwise, right? So it will go ahead. So, but if you start if you go clockwise, notice the both pins are, are low, right? It's low, both pins are low. If you go clockwise, notice that pin one saw a high signal first. This is still, pin two is still low. And pin one saw a high signal first. So this is how it knows that it's going clockwise direction. So yeah, you can play with this and familiarize with yourself with it and you know re read up on it too um, this is actually a library uh, that you could use in Arduino instead of writing your own code so yeah so that, that's essentially it so let's go ahead and upload it um, and see what it looks like all right so let's go here All right, so let's go ahead and clear this clockwise, clock and clockwise and clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise and clockwise. Let's go counterclockwise. There you go, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. All right, so essentially. Let me just go ahead and spin it really fast. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. There's nothing. There's nothing more satisfying than being able to count one, two, three in your program as an engineer. <laughs> All right, that looks good. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share this. Um, very easy implementation. You don't need a library for this. You could just um, do a, a, a digital read and uh, programmatically keep count of your of your um, counts of, of your clockwise direction. And and uh, I don't know if you noticed. You know, with this, you could you could literally um, you know your previous position like it keeps track of your position current position so like um, for digital signals audios videos uh, volume scroll scrolling through things you know you could keep track of all that position programmatically so um, another thing I wanted to show you is the library that I talked about so if you go to tools go to library manage manage library let me cancel out of this. So then, um, now when you go, it takes a while to find it, but it should be there right here. So I have it installed right now. So you need to click like this. It will, you, you will be have the option to install it here. So when you have it installed, and you could go to file example encoder and let's do basic encoder so right now we have our pin at three and four however if you go to this site right here uh, i am using arduino uno so arduino uno uh, interrupt pin will be two and three so we need to change our pen to two and three and let me change it on the on the Arduino board all right so so this uses less code uh, obviously you will be importing a library so uh, you're using all the heavy lifting of a library and you could just upload it 
the issue with this that I found, I mean, I don't know if, I think it's probably by design. It counts by the increment of four, which is very strange. So let's see, I'm gonna do clockwise. See, it just go jumps to four. One more time, clockwise, it jumps all the way to eight. Let me do counterclockwise. You reduce by four, then zero, yeah. So, so, but if you, when you go to the website, it does, yeah, oh, right here. Encoder provide four times counting mode and highly optimized code when running a test like this. So, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if that, if that could explain why. I, I, I really don't understand this verbiage, so. Um, but, yeah, that's essentially what I have for today. Hope this was helpful and uh, talk to you later. Bye bye.